Hey, 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 good looking. You want to sit there and see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine. Swing right on into my kitchen. And let's get cooking. Good looking. Well, hey there, good looking. Today, I'm going to do another one of my mom's recipes. And... I really love scaled potatoes, and I converted her recipe over to the Instapot ways because there was no Instapot back in the days when I was a kid growing up, and she always made her scaled potatoes in the oven. But I simplified that process, and we're going to go ahead. Go right into the recipe and get cooking. Good looking. As you see, I have my potatoes already pre-sliced. You're going to be needing some milk. A stick of butter. I also use cornstarch to make a cornstarch slurry. I cubed up our ham because... My husband loves scale potatoes and ham. And I promised him if we were going to do scale potatoes, the next time would be his way. Now, my mom at times would add the chopped ham or spam to her scale potatoes when I was growing up. So, yes, I was brought up with that. But my preferred way for scale potatoes is just potatoes. We're also going to be needing some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to move the ham off to the side. We're going to sit there, grab all of our potatoes, and we're going to put it right into the Instapot. So, let's get adding the potatoes to the insert of our Instapot. And there went all the potatoes inside. Now, you can either add like one cup of water or you could use chicken broth. Either way, my mom... Just would sit there and not do any of that because she didn't have an Instapot. But we're going to sit there and show you how we cook up the potatoes in our Instapot. Like I said, one cup of water or one cup of broth. Thank you, honey, for turning the light on. Okay, like I said, I'm just cooking my potatoes to get them ready for the scalloped potatoes, so I chose to go with water. Now, we're going to sit there, put our Insta Top on. Top on. Yeah. <sighs> I can't even talk this morning. <laughs> we're going to sit there and make sure our vent is closed. We're going to come down here. We're going to push the manual button on, and we're going to set it for one minute, and I'll see you in one minute. While I'm waiting for the one minute of cook time on the Instapot, I went ahead. I got out myself a bowl because once the Instapot sounds off, we're going to do a quick release. I'm going to remove the cooked potatoes, put them in a the bowl. That way we can work on this creamy part of the scalloped potatoes. All right, the cooking time has started on the Instapot, so I'll be looking forward to showing you the rest of the recipe in one minute. And there she blows. So let's go ahead <laughs> and release all the pressure inside of the Instapot. 
almost all of the pressure has been released. Now, when you open up the Instapot lid, always, always, always open the lid away from you. This way, you do not get steam burns. So, let's go ahead. Oh, we got to wait a little bit. Okay, let's open it, and remember, open it away from you. Okay, now I'm going to grab some cooked potatoes from the inside. I'm going to put them all in my bowl. I'm going to shut off the Instapot. Now, I know somebody's going to ask me this. How do you know if them potatoes are done? Well, you're going to sit there and take your fork and poke into them. And go ahead. Taste test them. I'm telling you, one minute and you have perfectly cooked potatoes. Not too soft and not too hard, but perfect. Go ahead and add one stick of butter and we're gonna melt it okay now that the butter has melted we're gonna sit there and get our milk all mixed in now it would be roughly about three cups of milk so go ahead add all that down into our instapot insert Also, at this time, I'm going to be adding all of the chopped up ham. I'm going to mix the slurry all up while I'm waiting for the milk to heat up. My slurry's all made. Now I'm just going to sit there and add all that to the inside of the Instapot. We're going to give this all a good stir. And we're going to allow all this delicious sauce to thicken up. And then we'll be adding our potatoes right back in so as soon as this starts to thicken we'll be coming right back so i can show you also now would be the time that you would sit there and add your salt so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna add my salt and I like a little bit of pepper in my scalloped potatoes, so we're going to add a little bit of pepper as well. Now, give that all a good stir. Okay, give it a little taste test to see if you need to add a little bit more salt or pepper. I'm going to leave mine where it is because there's quite a bit of salt in the ham. And as this is thickening up, it's going to be releasing some of the salt from the ham. Okay, my sauce is starting to thicken up beautifully. Now, here again, you desire what thickness you want your scalloped potato sauce to be. I like mine to encase all the potatoes. So, this just has to go a little bit further. 
Okay, mine's almost at the point where I like to have my sauce be. It could be a little bit more. So I'm just going to keep stirring it. Like I say, it's almost right there. And once it gets there, that's when we're going to add the potatoes back into the Instapot. Okay, I believe it's time for me to add my potatoes back in. So let's go ahead and add all them beauties back into my pot. Now, give it a good stir. That way, all the potatoes are encased with all this luscious sauce. You know, you may have to break some of them apart, but oh, it's so worth it. Now, after this point, you can take it over to a hot oven and put it underneath the broiler and brown the top all off or you can sit there and eat it up as it is well you decide which way you're gonna go Ooh, look at that do you see what i see i see nothing but pure goodness of scalp potatoes one of my favorites so before I taste test this, I gotta let this cool down just a tad bit. We're gonna call our old man in here, or as you all know him, the big kahuna. And we're gonna allow him to do a taste test as well. We'll be back in a few minutes as soon as this cools down enough for us to taste. Okay, let's see if they cool down enough to taste. I already have a good fork full. No. <laughs> My mouth is already drooling. Mmm. It's delicious, but scolding hot yet. So I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit more so my husband doesn't scold his mouth. Hey, big kahuna, are you hungry? Are you interested in doing a taste test? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Now, please be careful because it's still hot, babe. <laughs> I'll say <laughs> And let us know what you think of it. I know you've had my mom's. Mm. Very good, Mama. And it's made your way with the hub in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you heard it from him. He's had this for over 30-some years. It is my mother's recipe. We just converted it over to cooking it the Instapot way. Like I said... You can eat it this way as it is or put it in the oven underneath the broiler and brown it up. Now, that's the preferred way my husband likes it. <laughs> I like it really anyway. If you liked what you saw here today, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And as always, here's to happy cooking, but better yet, happy eatings. Y'all come back now, you hear? Now, if you really want to help my channel out and help it grow, be sure to sit there and check out all my other videos and give me some well-needed watch time. 